Hi, my name is Elizabeth Curtis. I'm coming to you from the Click Lewis Arena, and I'm here to talk to you about forward crossovers. The way we start forward crossovers is just by standing still on the line, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your feet a little bit wide. You're gonna take your right foot, cross it over, and then you're gonna hold. So you're gonna hold your feet in this position. Now, if you're off the ice, you can always do these like when you're brushing your teeth or watching TV. But what you want to do is you want to get your hips used to standing in this position. Now what I want you to do is take the back foot, take it out. Good. And go ahead and cross over again, right foot over. And stand there. And then take the back foot out. And of course you always want to do it both directions. So go ahead and take your left foot and cross it over. And hold. Again, look at your feet. Make sure your feet are parallel. They're straight across, and then take the back foot out. And cross one more time. And make sure your feet are straight. Keep your feet close together. And this is always a really good exercise to do off the ice as well as on the ice. Because you can always just stand with your feet crossed and get your body used to standing in this position. And take the back foot out. Very good. The next exercise that we do for forward crossovers are forward pumps. What you're going to do is that we're going to go on a circle. You're going to keep one leg completely still, and it'll be over the line of the circle. The other leg is just going to do half swizzles, so it's just going to stay on the ice and do pumps. Everybody find a spot in the circle and stand. And what you're going to do is take your right hand, no matter if you're right or lefty, you're going to put that right hand in front of you, and you're going to take that left hand and put it behind you. So go ahead and start skating, take a few steps and then go ahead and do some pumps. Now the left foot is still on the pump. Both hands on your stick, and the stick to the inside of the circle. As we do this, what you want to do is make sure your weight stays still on your left foot. Pumps have a very interesting sound. They have kind of a crunchy sound, and that's the power of the pump. That's what you want to hear, is you want to hear that, that really deep pressure into the ice. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do cross and hold. So you're gonna go around the circle in the same direction. You're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna cross it over, and then you're gonna hold in this position on the circle. And go ahead and do a few pumps to get started. Great. Now, let's do a cross and hold. So take that right foot, cross it over, and hold. As you do the hold, you want to stay completely still in your body. Go ahead and take, get some more speed. And cross and hold again. Go ahead. Very good. Make sure that your feet are nice and tight, close together. Very good. Woo. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the crossovers. So go ahead and start to do some crossovers. When you're going in this direction, it's gonna be right foot over left. You wanna make sure that the feet are crossed close. You can see Mitch here does a great job of crossing his feet nice and close as he's skating. Very good, very good. You want to make sure that those feet are nice and close as you're crossing, because you're actually going to get two pushes on the crossovers. I'm here now with Jack and Emily, and they're going to demonstrate cross-unders. When you do crossovers, there's actually two pushes. It's the first push, which is pretty obvious, and that's easy to, to understand. And then there's the second push, which is actually an under push. So the exercise we're going to do are called cross-unders. And what you're going to do is you're going to cross the feet, and then you're only going to push with the underfoot. And then you're going to keep your feet crossed, bring them back together, and then push with the underfoot. So you're only using the underfoot to get, to get speed for this exercise. So go ahead and skate, guys. And then go ahead and start your cross-unders. So you're going to cross your feet. You're going to push that foot out to the side. This is a really tough exercise and takes a lot of time to get good. When you're doing this, you want to try to push with your heel first and then roll to your toes. And the pushing foot is gonna go directly out to the side. It doesn't go behind you, it actually goes to the side. 
The other thing you want to think about when you're doing this is leaning out of the circle. If you lean into the circle, you'll pretty much always fall. Try to get a little bit more speed and try a couple more, so go ahead and skate, because a lot of times you'll slow down on these if you are just starting them. And then go ahead and try that again. Ready, go. Try to use your heel to get that push. And as always, bend your knees, bend your ankles as you're skating. That's what's going to give you power. So crossovers are used to get down the ice quickly and also in transitions. That's how you do crossovers.